Gateway seems to have a much less battery life. It's a lot more power hungry. Whereas the MacBook is a can really last really long. Battery health is at like 93%. It lasts about three hours. So there's the MacBook. And there's the gateway. Now if I log in, I log in at the same time. Just give you an example. In terms of power, the MacBook has a better processor at 2.4 GHz dual core. Uh, slightly more RAM, has 2 GB. This one's maxed out at 1.5. The graphics in this one, not really going to make much difference, but this is a Radeon X600, which is a 256 meg card, which is pretty awesome. That one only has a um, integrated graphics card. I'm not really sure, but it's a typical MacBook integrated and it really isn't quite good but it's not going to make a difference. Now the hard drive 100 gigabyte it has about 40 gigabytes of stuff in it. This one is 150 gigabyte and it has about 120 gigabytes of stuff in it. So keep that in mind. This one has much more data on it. So I'm expecting this one to start up slower. So this one says 93.1 gigabytes. It's 100 free space 40.9 so it's about 50 gigabytes used but this one let's see used 125 gigabytes free 23.6 gigabytes so this one has much more data on it processors the AMD Avon 64 2.6 gigahertz so that's not too bad but not as good as a core 2 duo on this one and besides this one is um the hard drive in this is IDE, whereas the hard drive in this one is SATA, which is going to mean it has faster speed. So, I mean, you know, what do you expect? The MacBook should have won.